Hey everyone, Sam Haymart with Test Driven TV. We have just test driven the 2024 Hyundai Sonata Hybrid, very popular mid-size sedan in the segment. And so it's in the garage. We're gonna take a complete look under the hood, outlining all of the major technical features as well as the do-it-yourself maintenance service points. For 2024, the Hyundai Sonata Hybrid is significantly refreshed, but offers the same two-liter direct-injected four-cylinder engine and hybrid drive system found under the hood since 2019. The gasoline engine itself has 150 horsepower and 139 pound-feet of torque. Sandwiched between the engine and its conventional six-speed automatic transmission is a pancake-shaped electric motor assembly with 51 horsepower and 151 pound-feet of torque. It's powered by an air-cooled 1.62 kilowatt-hour lithium-ion battery pack that's located inside the passenger compartment under the back seat. Also under the hood is a belt-driven starter motor generator which starts the engine and can generate power for the battery system. The entire system is rated at 192 combined horsepower. It's available only with front wheel drive and it has an EPA rating of 44 miles per gallon city, 51 miles per gallon highway, and 47 miles per gallon combined. Following the airflow, the intake charge starts at the top rear of the radiator and flows through a snorkel to a conventional air filter box located at the passenger side of the engine bay. From there, it travels around the rear of the engine through a long tube back to a throttle body at the front of the engine down low at the entrance to its composite plastic intake manifold. The air then travels up to the combustion chambers which feature four valves per cylinder and variable valve timing. With the engine sound cover removed, you can see the four spark plug coil packs atop the engine. Showing in this picture are foam insulation panels which can be easily removed for easier access to the spark plugs. Because this does have direct fuel injection, most of the fuel hardware is hidden from view. Routine maintenance on the Hyundai Sonata Hybrid is relatively identical to that of any normal gasoline-powered vehicle. Caution, however, is to be taken with all of the orange wiring harnesses and their connections as they handle up to 270 volts and not really intended to be user serviceable anyway. Accessing the air filter is easy. Simply pop a few clips at the top of the air box at the passenger side of the engine compartment to get in and replace it. Windshield washer fluid is found just ahead of it with a bright blue cap. Fill in the oil, that can be done directly at the top of the engine with or without the sound cover pulled off and the cap is located in plain sight. The oil dipstick is notable by its bright red handle nearby at the front of the engine. There are two coolant reservoirs here you might note. One is for the hybrid power system, which can be found at the front of the engine compartment at the driver's side atop the transmission and to the right of the main hybrid power converter and control unit. The main engine coolant reservoir is at the driver's side firewall. Both use the same fluid. Very close to it, brake fluid can be checked at the firewall at its reservoir mounted atop the electronic brake control unit. Though it isn't user serviceable, the main engine computer, or ECU, can be found just ahead of the brake fluid and the coolant reservoirs. The main consumer grade fuse box is located at the driver's side of the engine bay ahead of the strut tower. It's accessed by simply popping a couple of clips and a fuse removal tool can be found inside. Also located here is a 12 volt access post. The 12 volt battery itself is actually an integrated part of the hybrid battery pack assembly located under the rear seat and is not a conventional battery type requiring traditional maintenance procedures. One thing I want to point out here is all of the little details and trimmings that make this engine compartment a clean, easy on the eyes place to look at. Look at the trims that go down the fender tops and hide all of the bolts and how those neatly transition into the surrounding shrouds. It's something that we normally expect to find on a luxury car, not a vanilla bread and butter regular family sedan. The last thing I want to point out is the electric cooling fan located on the back of the radiator. Now, while there's really no reason for you to be putting your hands down there, do keep your hands free of that device. Even if the engine isn't running, but might be warm from having been driven, this is a fan that can turn on at any time. So, so just be aware of it. Yeah, I have to say, this is one of the cleanest, best-looking, well-organized engine compartments I've seen in a long time this side of a luxury car like a Lexus, a Genesis, a BMW, or a Mercedes, where in those brands, they typically go a long way to try to make it look pretty and that, you know, you spent the extra money. They didn't really need to do that here, but yet 
they did. So that's pretty slick. I don't, I just don't see it very often. So that said, we have a complete test drive on this car. You can see that right there. Better yet, if you like these nuts and bolts type of videos, you can subscribe to TDTV Garage right there. Either way, stay tuned.